Hey everybody, it's Karen from Orfo Acrylics. How are you? Uh, happy, hot, sticky, yucky, humid Saturday afternoon. Um, today I'm gonna do a flip and drag pour on a 10 by 20. It is the winning painting um, for the gal who won the uh, 20K um, giveaway. So, um, yeah. Oh, show you stuff from last time. I'm like sleepy, what can I say? Uh, so two videos ago, we did this guy, modified cloud pour, not real sure of the orientation. It is still not dry, like the top, the very top layer is, but it's very wet underneath. And then like this, I don't know. I like it a lot. Maybe like that. This might be one that we actually hang horizontally, and I'm because that looks pretty great that way. Um, the one, the sandwich pour is not dry yet. Uh, during the summer months, I do have to keep a tarp over my um, paintings to really slow down the dry time because the air conditioning vents um, blow the cold air from the ceiling. They're on our ceiling, they blow down and tend to dry out my uh, art and crack it if I don't keep it covered. But keeping it covered means it takes twice as long to dry. So I will show that uh, next time. So yeah, let's get started. I got my Wonder Woman shirt on. I should have worn my Stranger Things t-shirt in honor of uh, the latest season being out. We've been watching that an episode or two every day. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm kind of proud of myself. Yep, let's push this back a little bit. This. And yeah, there we go, a little 10 by 20. So colors for today. Uh, we have some Grumbacher Academy uh, in Burnt Sienna. That's this guy right here. We have some combination of Naples Yellow Deep by Amsterdam mixed with some Naples Yellow Hue. And this color is definitely darker than this one. It's about two shades darker. Um, I combine them for a happy medium Naples yellow. Uh, we have some basics, the light permanent green, not a color I use a lot. And then we have a big old cup of Plaza acrylic. This is their permanent um, green deep, their version of a deep green, which actually to me is just a regular green. Not very deep at all, in my opinion. And then we have here this rust color is something I made up my own. This was taking some Liquitex Heavy Body. This was Cronacridone um, Azo Orange, which is really quite the vivid shade of uh, about rusty orange color. Uh, and it was too, too bright, so I toned it down by adding maybe a teaspoon of black. I didn't do Payne's Gray in this because of the um, blue undertones in Payne's Gray. I didn't want that with my red. So I used black to get this really nice shade of uh, like a rust color. Really actually quite happy with that. And now it's just different enough from the, uh, the Burnt Sienna. So I really like those two together. And then a cup of, you know, the Artist Law Flow Acrylic in white and in black. And I want the black to uh, maybe darken up the green as they mix. So hopefully this goes fairly straightforward. Haven't done flip cups in a while, um, but that's what she requested. So that's what I'm gonna do. And Put some white in the bottom of each. We're using some uh, recycled cups here. And we'll go with the green. Oh, ha! Ah, I forgot to put in my silicone. I'm always forgetting something. Let's look at my clean bottle of my spot on treadmill silicone. Let me go ahead and add four drops to this green because it's pretty full. And then three in the rest. 
One more. Go ahead. Two, three. One, two, three. Three in the black. Let me give those a quick stir. Caught myself in the nick of time, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this um, and get it posted. And then I'm going to film another pour that I'll post in a few days because we are leaving on vacation to go up to uh, Bar Harbor, Maine and go to Acadia National Park where we have never been before. Um, and I will be gone for nearly two weeks. So I figured I'll get a video out this weekend and then post the other one from up there, you know, halfway through. So you have something to watch. And uh, as usual, thanks for the love and support. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of black to this green. I don't wanna cover it all up, so I'm just gonna drizzle some on like this because I wanna put my, my rust color on top of that. I forgot to show you consistency and talk about pouring medium. Huh. Pouring medium recipe, I'll, you know, it'll come up on the screen. Um, just still experimenting a little bit. I did eight ounces of the golden gloss pouring medium with 12 ounces of Elmer's glue wall and six ounces of water. So whatever that equals up to. I think 12 is 20, 26, 26 ounces. Yes, because my, uh, this guy holds 24 and it was over. So uh, this was pretty, pretty dang full. And the consistency, it's like all my other, it's, it's just like my last video. I can't show you now because I don't want to start. Well, maybe I can, I'll show you with the yellow. One to one ratio, paint to PM, and then a little bit of water for consistency, um, particularly for the Liquitex Heavy ba Basics. Heavy Basics, heavy body, oh my lord. Uh, consistency, kind of on a thicker side today. See, it's hard to see the, uh, the trace, the mound in the paint, but it leaves a mound for a good second before it disappears. That's usually my standard right there. So I want to go back to this green before I do yellow. Now I'm going to do some yellow and white. Lots of little layers today. some white on top of that. Just a little bit. And then let's go. Let's go with the green again, just a little bit. Not cover it up. I really want a blending of colors today. Normally when I layer, I tend to cover up all of the color that's in the cup. And today I'm not doing that deliberately. I almost used gold and decided I want this to be really earthy. Um, so I went with the Naples yellow instead. Just to have, 
I'd like to have this vision in my mind of a poor, you know, with earthy colors, like walking on a path in the woods on a like sun dappled day, you know, with the sun like coming through the leaves, brightening up parts of the trail and other parts look dark and mysterious. That's kind of what I want for this poor. And well, you know how that goes. What we want, what we get, two very different things. So this is plenty of paint. I just want to add a little more of the bright green and I think, I think we're gonna be done. Yep. But that's anyway, that's the vision in my head for today. Execution is an entirely different matter. All right. Good to go. One. Hopefully three cups is enough. Oh, see, love that. That's, yeah. I'm happy with that right there. Just that, those colors. We'll see what happens. Give that a second. Very excited for the uh, vacation. We've been, uh, I don't like all the cells that's making though. That's not good. Uh, we're trying to uh, hit up the, you know, the U.S.'s national parks. When when our daughter's a bit older and can appreciate Europe, we'll do trips to Europe. Uh, maybe show her a couple places where I used to live. But in the meantime, we want to see our national parks. So we went to. Yosemite the year before last and next summer we're going to Yellowstone and we like to hike so all right enough small talk let's get down to work all right wow Ooh, don't like that let's go back on it love that though Oh, I love that too. I'm just gonna save the, the paint in a cup. <gasps> oh gosh, I love the colors. Let's wreck this little bit. Kind of go that way. Throw some on my corners. Yep, that's what we'll do. Get those corners. So we don't have to worry about them. All right, I think three cups is plenty. Selling up a bit. Kind of surprised by that, actually, because my mix is kind of thick. Let's see what happens. So, I'm not going to torch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna definitely tilt. Given that it's selling up already, if I torch now and then tilt, the cells I think are gonna grow and stretch. And um, yeah, but man, I really, really like the colors. All right, let's give it a whirl. Let's just go over this way a bit. Get those to touch up. I kind of want to save that green. Do I, do I need it? I'm talking to myself now. No, I guess I don't. I can go meet up. Yeah, look at those cells. I'm, yeah, definitely, definitely not torching. I'm gonna go up to this one corner and go off. Bring it back. And go up here and go off. We'll see how I feel about that little thing right there. I'm gonna leave it for now. I'll let it live for now. I'm gonna go back over here. I don't know if I'm gonna let it live. See how much it bugs me. All right, pour that off.
flip it around. Let me stare before I tilt the rest. So, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but whenever, if you watch my videos or if you're new, I'll frequently say, let me stop and stare. And what I like to do, you know, obviously besides checking out everything and not rushing, is take a step, take a step or two back and like envision what it's gonna look like on a wall or, you know, a plate stand or wherever you're putting it. You, you get a better idea of what the composition looks like if you, if you step back from it. So don't be afraid to like, you know, back up four or five steps and look at it from afar. It'll really help um, you see the entire composition and not just parts. Because I think uh, we get so enamored with cells or sections. Like right now, I'm like focusing on this right here, which I absolutely adore. And forget about the whole overall look. Um, so that's my, my composition tip of the day, I guess. All right, let's wiggle our way down or up as it may be to the other end. And things are gonna get stretched out. We'll see if we have enough paint to, to make it go. So this little part's about to go off, so let's help it. Maybe we'll help you a little bit too. the one and I'm just gonna go for it right there because it's pretty close and then bring this back and holy good googly moogly glad I didn't torch I want to bring it back just so I have um, some background and then I'm gonna look at these sides and see what I think about the white but uh, let me stare Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn happy. Holy moly, I am. The white doesn't bother me. I mean, I can give that a torch. I'm not gonna, maybe, you know me, I'll chicken torch maybe just on the end, but I wanna keep the middle parts blank. You know, that feeling of, you know, walking in the woods that I was talking about. My favorite thing on this painting is these cells. Um, even though they're a little bit elongated, they got like the three different shades of green rings with the white and then these with the rust color with green rings. They're just, they're kind of amazing. Uh, and the blending of the background, that's from doing so many tiny layers and not covering all the colors in your cup. That worked out really well. Um, I don't think I need to move anything. I don't think I need to do much at all, really. I wish I had a little more of the Naples yellow, like I have a nice um, spot here and here. I wish I had a little more, but man, that's picky. That's super picky. Let me get off my gloves and grab my torch. Let's be a quick one. And let's just torch in this white a little, see if we get anything, if anything happens. It might be done and along this edge. Some babies, just to uh, have a variety of sizes. Right there. And I'm gonna kind of get just go up high to pop bubbles. Some in there. And ta -da! I really, really like this. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else I want to do? I feel like this isn't a typical video for me. It's usually much longer. Those are turning out really pretty. That's adorable. Yeah, done. So uh, maybe I need to um, prep some canvases. I have a bunch of leftover colors. Maybe I'll film um, another video with the leftover colors. And just let me touch up my one little corner here. How's it look on your side? 
All covered. All covered. Done. Uh, yeah, totally earthy. Let me get you down. So overall view up high like that. Let me come to zoom in. There's those uh, rust and green cells I was talking about, and I love the shades of background. Really cool, really cool. Walk in the woods, that's the name for sure. Really cool. I love the little baby green guys too. And I like how it's, uh, I like my edges on this one, how the cells roll off the edges. But yeah, that's it. Uh, gosh, 21 minutes. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the love and support. Send me some comments. Please like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'm going to put this away and do another. See you soon. Bye.